Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my October favorites. So pretty much this is everything that I've been loving during the entire month of October. So if you're interested to hear what I have to say, then just keep on watching. So I have a little bit of like random products, a little bit of makeup, just like and then a little bit of extra stuff. So first I'm gonna just start off with like skincare and like just body stuff. So first up, this is the Degree Dry Spray Sheer Powder Deodorant. I love this stuff. Literally like a clear spray. Like a <coughs> too much, too much. You know when you usually put like stick deodorant on and it like leaves that white mark? It's like, it's so frustrating. I hate that. But this spray does not do that. It's literally clear and it works really good. I feel like this works a lot better than the sticks. It's quick, it's easy, it makes you smell good, and it actually works. So I love this stuff. I use it literally actually every day. Like that's my new deodorant of choice. Next up is a face wash. I received this in my October Boxy Charm. This is the Dr. Brent Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. Um, I try to use this like once a week, sometimes twice. This stuff works really good. I feel like it definitely gets really deep into those pores and really just clears it out completely. My skin is definitely really smooth after applying this and it's just really refreshing and it kind of just like wakes me up in the morning. I like to use this when I do. I like to use it in the shower and the morning because I just feel like it really just gets in there and it gets all the gunk out and I'm ready for my day. I recently received this eye cream. Someone actually gave this to me. This is the olive oil eye cream. It's anti-aging and hydrating. It's also a 96.3% natural product. This is like just the mini version of it, but this is what it looks like. I have not even looked at the pros of this at all. I have no idea. I just apply it to my fingers and then tap it in underneath my eyes, on the sides, and on top. Just trying to help get rid of those wrinkles because you girl has so many wrinkles for being 20 years old. I don't necessarily see a difference, but I feel a difference. I feel like my eyes are more just plump and just more awake and more hydrated than they usually do without me using this. I don't know how to pronounce this name. I'm so sorry, but this is what it looks like. Lang... 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 I don't know for glue. I'm not even gonna try, honestly. But this is a lip sleeping mask. So pretty much I've been applying this to my lips when they're super dry and I just leave it on during the night or I use it as a lip balm throughout the day because it really just gives your lips a nice shine. It really just feels like a heavy um, lip balm on your lips but once you take it off your lips feel brand spanking new. They feel so soft, so like rejuvenated honestly and just really plump. So that's what I really like about this because my lips have been struggling since it's getting into the winter months here in New York. So this definitely keeps them revived and looking good as new. I've been obsessed with a new scent. This is from Victoria's Secret. This is their Intense Perfume. That's what it's called. This is like the mini sample because I have like a bunch of samples from them. I usually take little samples like this with me when I'm traveling or when I'm going home for the weekend or whatever and I don't want to take my big bottles with me. But this smells so freaking good, like, it's like a refreshing scent, but it's kind of sexy in a way. So it's not like that musky sexy, it's like that fresh floral with a hint of sexy scent in it, <laughs> if that makes sense. I think I'm probably going to pick up a bigger bottle of this eventually once this runs out, because... I have been loving this. So if you guys don't know, I don't get my eyebrows done. I do them myself. I actually pluck them myself and right now I'm in the process of growing them out because I need to reshape these puppies. They are a hot mess. These are the Tweezer Man tweezers. They're like the little baby ones and they have a slant on the top. But these work so good. I never used to be a big fan of tweezers with the slant because I feel like they never really could grab the hairs really good. But these work so good and I believe these were only like $10. And these are the best tweezers I've ever had and tried. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and it's in the shade Chocolate. I'm out of this finally. It took me a while but... I'm officially out. It won't go up anymore. Definitely need to go repurchase it, but I 
love this pencil. I've tried the Anastasia ones, um, a bunch, like L'Oreal, MAC, I've tried so many, but I keep going back to this one just because I feel like it's the perfect eyebrow pencil. It's not too waxy and it's not too stiff, but the product disperses really nicely where it's not too much and it's not too little. So it's kind of like that all-in-one perfect brow pencil. So if you have not tried this out, I would definitely try it out. And of course, it does have a spoolie on the end. And I actually really like this spoolie. It works really good for me. So Next is a highlighter that I've been obsessing over. Oh my goodness. This is the Milani Strobe Light in the shade Day Glow. Honey, honey, honey. This is so pretty. I like it because it gives your skin that kind of like wet highlighter look. So it doesn't look powdery at all. And you can either like have a very sheer like toned down highlight, like a very natural one. Or you can build this up like crazy and have a gleaming ass highlight on fleek. I just like how it doesn't get all over my face when I apply it on my cheekbones. That's one thing that I hate about highlighters and that's my biggest pet peeve. And it's just really stunning, and it's just a really pretty shade, so I've been obsessing over this. And this is a very cheap highlighter. I found mine at Walmart. This is the Anastasia Blush Trio, and this is in the shade Peachy Love. So it has three different shades, and I've actually only used this shade because that's like my kind of blush color, but I definitely need to try these two out. I just haven't gotten around to it. I just feel like everyone needs this in their collection because technically you get three different blush shades or you can mix and match and create your own color. So I just really like this. I haven't even taken the freaking sticker off of the mirror. I do that all the time. I literally just leave them on because I like my stuff looking new at all times <laughs> or I just forget. So now for my one lip product. I've used this multiple times in so many makeup tutorials. This is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cowboy. Boy, do I love this formula and I love this shade. This is a perfect fall shade. Like, girl. I just think it is the most stunning color. I feel like it definitely matches a lot of my crease shades that I use. So I just feel like it's very universal and you can just wear it by yourself and it will look stunning. And I really like this formula. It's not the best out in the market, but it's pretty good for a drugstore. Pretty dang good. So this is the Morphe M330. It's like a kind of just a pointed taper blending brush and I actually use this brush to contour my nose now because I was using more of a dense brush like made my nose look too harsh and intense and I just really wanted to mute it down so I went to a blending brush and it works so well because it has like a pointed end so it pretty much just disperses the product wherever you blend it out and I just feel like it works really well. I definitely recommend using like blending brushes for your nose contour just because it makes it look a little more natural and just a little more, I don't know, better in my opinion. So I have been loving this brush. I also picked up this e.l.f. brush. This is like their like contour brush, I think it's called, from their new line. It's so cute. First of all, like this packaging is to die for. I love sleek packaging like this, especially that it's like clear. So cute. And they really stepped up their game with their bristles. I use this to contour all over my face and it's just such a soft brush for the price this was ten dollars and I got mine at Target but it's just, just so it's so worth the money I honestly consider this as a high-end brush because that's what it feels like because the bristles are so soft but I really like the shape of it too because it's like flat here and then it tapers out so I feel like it definitely disperses the product like really nicely and just as easy to blend with it. I have two candles for you guys because I've been on a candle kick lately. I can't help it. I know I shouldn't be spending my money on candles, but I cannot help it, okay? I like my room to smell good, okay? No judge. So this is the um, Bath & Body Works scented candle in flannel. Oh my god. This is such a nice scent. Oh, it kind of smells like a man, like a sexy man that just got like got out of the shower. But it's got a little bit of like maybe like fall in it. How do you even define fall? I don't even know. It's such a nice candle. I think it's perfect for fall. Definitely wouldn't like 
light this during the spring and the summer. It's definitely a fall candle, hence the sticker on the front. It looks like fall. But I just think it's such a nice scent. And I love it. I love, 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 love. And another one that I've been obsessing with is Marshmallow Fireside. I feel like a lot of people love this candle, but I'm going to mention it anyways. This is such a nice scent as well. This is more of like, what does it say that's in this? Toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, and fire roasted vanilla. This season staying in is the new going out. <laughs> true that, girl. True that. <laughs> but I just feel like it definitely has all of those things. Vanilla, definitely. Woods, smoldering woods, and marshmallow. Yeah. That's exactly, that's exactly what it smells like, and it's so nice. I think this is definitely a fall candle as well, but I feel like I'll definitely burn this in the winter just because it smells so good, and this is my favorite scent from them. Mm, so good. The last thing is actually a pair of shoes that I've been recently, like, nonstop wearing. These are um, my Nike Roche Runs. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't freaking know. But Roche Run, Roche Run, Roche Run. Roche run, roche run. Yeah, let's go with that one. Um, these are just in the white. These are actually the kid ones because I'm a size six and a half and I can fit in kids' shoes and save some money. These are like my babies. See how they're still white? I've had these for probably like a half of a year to a year and they're still this white because I treat them like my baby. I've been really into wearing just like sporty clothes because it's quick, it's easy, you look semi-cute and you can get out the door really quickly so that's what I've been all about. They just match everything especially because they're white and I feel like they're more girly that way. I don't know if I would necessarily like all the black ones or you know what I mean? Just because they're all white and I have a white Nike hat so I just feel like it goes so good and it's so cute. And these are so comfortable, oh my god. So comfortable. I don't wear these working out. No way. I just wear these for fashion. <laughs> so anyways, those are all of the products that I've been loving for the entire month of October. If you have tried any of these products out and you have been loving them, let me know down below. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves. I forgot to tell you guys to subscribe. So hit that subscribe button to join the S squad. <laughs> I always forget to say that because I just get in the moment and I'm just like, Rrr. all right, your girl needs to eat. I'm freaking starving. It's 4.30.